Hello. So it's another Wednesday and let's just get this out there right now. From last week to this week, I gained 0.4 pounds. When I got on a scale this morning, I was pissed off because I was extremely good. I have not gone over calories. I have been to the gym. I have been doing so well. And then I realized, stop, just stop, stop worrying about it. It's 0.4 pounds. I yo-yo. I go up, I go down. It happens. So I've, I'm honestly not bothered by it anymore. <clears throat> and to tell you the truth though, I think, <laughs> I mean, I hate to make excuses, but I think there is a reason why I did gain a little bit of weight. And that's because when I weighed in this morning, I had been to the gym this morning. And I don't typically go to the gym on Wednesdays. And I realized I haven't actually been mentioning the gym goal. And as I had said in the first video that I have a goal of going to the gym three times a week. I had been doing golden on that. I go Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursday mornings, and then I go also on Saturdays. And Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, I jog a mile. And I've been slowly working up my speed on my mile, slowly. And then on Saturdays, I use the elliptical, and I've been slowly building up the amount of calories that I want to burn, because you know, I have free time on Saturday, I don't have to be anywhere, so I don't care how long I'm on there in order to burn the calories. Uh, so right now I'm at 450 calories, um, and this, this coming Saturday I want to burn 500 calories. But I had gone to the gym this morning, and I used the elliptical, and I ended up burning 350 calories. And the reason why I did that is that there was a potluck at work today, and I wanted to partake. And so I decided to do a little bit of preventive, um, preventive work on it, and I went to the gym. So I went to the gym and you know, drank water. And after I got, got off the scale and sort of calmed down, I decided to Google it. So I Googled weight gain after exercise, and it's not uncommon. Uh, if you are a person who does not sweat a lot and who does drink a lot of water, your muscles tend to, and you, and you worked out hard, and I, I did, I worked out hard, your muscles tend to soak up the water and you, you weigh more. So I'm not so bothered by it anymore. Uh, and I don't sweat a lot, but I do sweat. So don't think I'm you know, one of those people who just listens. No, I, I sweat. It's usually my, my inner arms, um, my inner boobs. <laughs> I, uh, and my forehead sweats a lot. And for some reason, the my elbows sweat. I don't know why, but you know, because I sit there run and I can literally feel sweat dripping off my elbows. Sexy, I know, but it happens. Uh, but I don't, I don't get the river of the sweat down my chest or down my back. So I think I'm in the category of people who don't sweat a lot when they exercise. Now, with that thought in mind, right before I started this video, I did weigh myself, and I don't normally do that. I usually try to weigh myself once a week so I don't get obsessed with those numbers. And sure enough. Um, about five minutes ago, I weighed 201.4, so I had, uh, what was it, 0.8 pounds. Mm. Yeah, so that's 0.8 pounds lost from last week, but I'm not counting that because I do just want to count my Wednesday mornings. So my official weigh-in this morning, I weigh uh, 202.6, so I have gained 0.4 pounds from last week, but it is okay. I'm okay. It says that I'm just too freaking cheery to be upset, and this is really unusual for me. Uh, it has it was just a good day today. I in Michigan it is Michigan and it is fall, and today I'm wearing a dress and I wore sandals, and that is so rare for Michigan. We had a crappy winter, and not very springy spring, and a not very summery summer. And now we're getting some warm weather during fall. I think this is like the, you know, have fun with it suckers because winter's gonna really suck, but I'm enjoying it while I can. Uh, another reason why I'm cheery is that my new coworkers who I've been working on training, they're starting to be a little bit more independent at work, so I can kind of get some things done that I need to get done, and that's 
just so thrilling for me. Not that I mind training them. It's kind of been nice to have that change, but I'm starting to see the end of the, the road where they get to be off on their own and, and I get to be off my own as well. So that makes me cheery. Another reason why I'm cheery is because I got my loot crate. Been waiting for that. Stuff rattling in there. Uh, so as soon as I'm done with this video, I get to go do my unboxing video. And, oh, another reason I'm cheery. My bracelets. So these are the bracelets I had gotten for my reward for my uh, five pounds loss from well, a week or two ago. And this is from Charming Charlie. Charlie. I just think they're just really pretty. I like them. And so for the three of them, they came as a group. And the three of them were $13. It was a little bit more than I wanted to spend. But for $13, I get three bracelets I can wear in a lot of different combinations. So I thought it was worth it. Uh, so that makes me cheery. Uh, and there's not really a theme of this video this week, just except for the fact that I'm cheery. And... I did want to update, oh, my my uh, short-term goal from last weekend was to clean my apartment. I did it. So my apartment is clean. It's vacuumed. It's been wiped and dusted and everything else. And I had scrubbed my tub, which needed it. And last Sunday, for the very first time since I moved in here, I took a bath. I that was probably the first time I'd taken a bath in a little over a year since I lived with my parents. I can't even say, no, it has been over two years since I had a bath. But I, I have a whole bunch of bath stuff. So I filled up my bathtub, I had a bunch of bubbles in there, had some of those rocks that you put in there that uh, dissolve and make everything all, your skin all nice and soft. And I just soaked in the tub for probably a good half hour, 45 minutes, reading a magazine. And I stepped out of that tub just feeling so zen. That. And so I'm going to try to do that now, is maybe every Sunday take a bath and just relax and become zen again. Uh, now, uh, oh, I guess kind of going back to that gym goal that I had, as I said, I've been doing, been doing really good on it. And I've kind of updated those goals because I'm having no problem getting up and going to the gym. And even this morning when I don't tell you to go to the gym on a Wednesday, I had no problem, but it's got to quit. My goal now is to burn at least 200 calories each time at the gym. Because I'm now able to run or jog, jog a mile straight, I'm not having to stop the start, the stop and start. That really kind of gets your um, metabolism going or your heart rate going and really burns the calories faster. So I'm, after I run my mile, if I still have calories left to burn, I just fast walk. Eventually what I want to do is be able to get a fast enough jog going that I can maybe jog for five minutes, walk for a couple minutes, and then jog for five minutes, but uh, I want to be able to get to a little bit faster jog so that when I come back from my little break, I'm burning that much more calories. Uh, so new goal is to at least burn 200 calories each time I'm at the gym. Yeah. So in the in the tradition of having a short-term goal, I definitely have one for this weekend. I am one of meeting some friends on Saturday. I think we're just, we're not going to go out to eat or anything, but they are going to give me a tour of the local comic book shops, because I have never set foot in a comic book store. Call myself a geek and I haven't done that. Yeah, shame on me. So they're going to give me a tour of the local comic book stores. And... Then after I'm done hanging out with them, I'm going home and I'm having a girls' night with my mommy. So we're going to go out to eat and we're going to watch movies. So the short-term goal for this weekend is to be sensible while I'm hanging out with my mom. Uh, it depends on where she's taking me though, because there's some places there's just no being sensible. <laughs> because the food's just too good. But hopefully wherever she takes me, I can be sensible. But I've been good for a month now. I mean, this is my fifth video. I've been good for a month. And I, if I do have to take a little bit of a break from my diet, then I'll take a break from my diet. I deserve it. Uh, so there's that. Mm -hmm. I guess that's going to be about it. 
Oh, I had mentioned that I had the potluck. Um, I was really good. So I burned the 350 calories and I went in knowing that it was like a taco bar theme and tortillas and taco shells just have so many calories in them that I didn't even want to try dealing with it. That would have been like my whole 350 calories I burned. I have these really yummy um, wraps that are called, I think they're called flat outs. They're 90 cal calories each and they're like that wide and that big. I mean, I'm not even joking here. They're huge and they're only 90 calories. And so I took, took one of those and I just rolled it up and put it in a baggie. But another thing that really is a stickler for calories is cheese. I mean, you can take a little handful of cheese and that's like 120 calories. So I have cheese slices. It's Sargento thin slices and they're 40 calories each. So it's just a thin slice of cheese. That's all it is. But it gives me that little bit of cheese flavor I'm looking for without a bunch of calories. And so I had the cheese and I had the wrap and I just wrapped it up and put it in a baggie and then I took it out and filled up my tacos with the, I didn't even do any meat because again, I couldn't really judge how many calories I was taking there. I just had tomatoes and onions and uh, guacamole, just a little bit because that is really high calorie. And uh, lettuce and then there was some homemade salsa because one of the girl's husband is from Mexico and I was a little afraid of it, but it had this really nice spice to it that wasn't too hot. It was a, a green chili and or a green salsa and it was so good. So I had that. Um, I'm gonna guess and say at the most it was 200 calories and I don't even think it was that much for my little wrap, but you know, then I had dessert. I don't know how much the dessert was for calorie wise, but uh, I'm probably blowing my calories today, but it's one day and it was worth it. And the dessert was these little Chex Mix peanut butter chocolate peanut things. It was probably like that big. I didn't even try cutting it down. I was just like, you know, I'm, I'm eating it. But that was all I had. I had the wrap and then I had the little treat and I ignored the rest of the desserts that were on the table and just had that one thing. So I was sensible during my potluck. So go me. And just to be really girly real quick, I redid my nails and when I was at the store on Friday, I found nail stickers. I've never even thought of trying them before, but my nails. And I just had like little itty bitty details in my pinkies just for the fun of it, but I really quite like it. So, okay, don't be girly. I'm gonna wrap this up because I have been rambling and I'm going to open up my loot crate. And I hope that you all have healthy weeks and I hope that I have a healthy weekend, but it's probably not gonna happen. Oh, straight out of it that. I will see you next week. Bye.